to understand how to actually go about in an interview when it is asked you in an interview. Now, the problem simply says that you are given a zero index integer array nums, a simple array nums which we are given, okay, great, of even length, okay, length is even, for sure even, of an equal number of positive and negative integers. So, nums have, for sure, equal number of positive and negative elements. Now, we have to rearrange the element of nums such that the modified array follows the given condition. Again, you remembered that in nums, you have equal number of positives and negative elements. We just have to rearrange those elements such that these three conditions satisfy. What is the condition? That first condition is every consecutive pairs of integers have opposite sign, which means if I have positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, then positive, then negative. Or it could have been negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. It, it should be something like this. Okay, this is the first condition. Second condition is that for all integers with the same sign, the order in which they are present in nums is preserved. Which means if I say that in my nums, in my nums, the nums array, I have P1, P2, P3, N1, N2, N3. So this order of P1, P2, P3 should be preserved, which means P2 should come for sure after P1 and before P3. So I can easily say that the order of P1, P2, P3, N1, N2, N3, this is the correct order while, okay, P1, P3, P2, this is not the correct order or maybe N2, N1. This N2, N3, N1, this is also on the correct order. So basically the order should also be preserved. Okay. Last condition is that the rearranged array begins with a positive integer. So for sure, I should begin with a positive integer. I cannot begin with a negative integer because in the very beginning, I saw that I can also have a negative, positive, negative, positive. Because first condition just says that you should have consecutive elements. Consecutive sign elements. But now, last condition says that you should for sure be starting off with positive. So now ultimately, it ultimately boils down to one fact that I need to have positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative. That's it. So it's as simple as that, right? I have this input array. I just want to get positives. I just want to get negatives in the order. So I will firstly extract out all the positive, positive elements from it. Again, in the order that okay firstly i will get the three i'll push the three first then i'll get the one get the push the one first like next and get the two okay two next so now i have got the positive array okay this is the positive array because you saw right i just wanted positive elements negative elements and i know where all these will come in i know for sure that the positive will come at the zero index index sorry at the index zero at the index two at the index four and so on and so forth so my positive elements will come at zero two four my negative elements will come at one three five and so on and so forth so i know the indexes also where these elements should be coming in i would be knowing the order in which they would be coming in so i just can just place them so i know i can just again iterate or meanwhile iterate i was iterating i'll just push back the negative elements also minus two minus five minus four in another vector negative vector and then i know that i just have to make a new final shuffle or basically rearranged array so i'll just simply start iterating oh if the index is even then i should be having a pointer on my positive and then that specific element i will be taking in okay i'll if the index is zero i will take in my simple positive okay then i as soon as i have taken i'll move my positive okay index is odd ah take my take my negative as soon as it is taken move that pointer okay move the pointer itself okay great now index is even oh take the positive take the positive move the pointer okay index is odd take the negative move the pointer again index is even take the positive move the pointer again index is odd we have this negative and we will move the pointer and that's how i can simply make my answer array that's it let's see this exact same thing in code exact same thing firstly i knew i need to have positive and negative in new vector so i'll just grab those positive and negatives if something is more than zero again we don't have a zero value here so you can just easily say that a number zero is not even present in this entire array how are you how you know that iron because you can easily see that nums of i is more than equal to one which means the mod value when i say mod of a is more than equal to one then i simply say that the mod value which means a is less than equal like a is less than a is less than equal to minus one or a is greater than equal to one 
just says this exact same thing cool so i can just simply go out and get the positive negative when i have got this i can simply iterate on my entire array answer because rn but why didn't you take the answer array oh yeah you can for sure so i can make a new vector as answer but if the interviewer says okay you can completely you can easily modify your input array nums also then okay you are very good to modify the input array but it's a good practice to firstly ask the interviewer if he's okay for you to modify the input array here in this case we have modified the input array because it's very easy that because all the positive and negative elements we have already grabbed in these two vectors so no matter what my input as in my my output will never be impacted if i modify this nums array or not so i can simply modify this so i ask the interviewer and interviewer said okay you can modify it if the interviewer have said you cannot modify it then i would have just i would have just made a new vector vector int of let's say answer of size n and then i would have pushed in that specific vector right okay and simply if it's even then push the positive element if it's odd simply push the negative element and ultimately return my nums itself because i just did a modification of my nums itself as you can see nums itself and that's how you can see that you have simply solved it in o of n plus n time r n is o of n time only why did you wrote o of n plus n because because the next follow-up interview will say that bro i can easily see that you used two two passes one pass to calculate positive and negative other pass to populate your final answer you used o of n and o of n operation right here which means your time is o of n plus n next thing which interview will ask you to do is can you do it in one pass here you use two passes interview will ask you to do in one pass and for sure space is for sure o of n even if you did a in place even if you did modification of the input array but still you use positive and negative vectors so no matter what your space is for sure o of n for sure o of n so now now next follow up is can you do it in one pass so for sure uh, we can do it in one pass exact same logic is just that if we want to do it in one pass see what was the issue which you were getting for two pass for two pass the main issue was that i was making this vector positive and negative and then i was populating in my answer now i will not make this vector i will just directly try to populate in my answer let's how again i will show you listen this right now i have made a new vector answer earlier i was earlier it was very easily possible right earlier it was easily possible because i had stored my positive positive and negative in my new vectors so it was easily possible to actually replace this nums when i have grabbed these values but now i am saying i will not grab these values uh -huh. so oh so which means my nums i have to directly go and put the value in some other vector as the answer so i have made a new vector as the answer in that new vector answer i will actually start populating the values how i will do it exactly simple the main fact what these vectors positive and positive and negative was doing were doing was that they all were grabbing the positive elements and just pushing at that index so i know one thing for sure okay if i am standing at this specific element if it's positive okay he will go at the positive indexes of my array so i know i can mark the positive indexes okay the current element i am at okay it's just a pointer at nums and a pointer at answer we are the pointers which i have one at one at nums one at answer so i'll just say positive oh yeah this element i am at is actually positive oh so he will go at the positive index the first possible in positive index for me is zero okay when it is gone i will simply move on my next positive index to my two again negative index is still here still here so i am just trying to say okay as soon as i get a positive element simply put at the positive index location if i get a negative element simply put at the negative index location okay next element again it's positive okay no worries simply place at the positive index location i have placed a one and then simply again move on the positive and you can see every index will move on by plus two right because they are alternative now okay this also moves it is now negative okay place it at the place it at the negative index location okay now move the negative move the negative negative moved again oh it's negative again place at the negative index location again move the negative okay move the negative okay move the negative now um this is also gone now it is true oh positive index okay place the positive again move the index positive it is, is moved okay now move the index minus four oh it's negative okay place it and then move it oh my both of them have got out of my bound of the array of answer which means i have made my answer and that's how in just one pass 
you populate your entire answer right so i just do exactly same one thing i will have positive and negative which will be iterating on my answer right and this i index will be iterating on my nums so for this for this pointer i will use i for this pointer i'll use positive and negative right cool now if again this equal to will not matter because it will never be used but still for you can just add it or not add it it's up to you it will never matter at all so uh, if my nums is more than zero then i will say answer of that positive index is just it says like nums of i and then simply move your positive by plus two which is the next valid candidate for positive same way if the else is there which means answer of negative is nums of i and simply move your negative by plus two and that's how you would have been populated like you would have populated your answer vector which is nothing but answer now with this your time is o of n because you are just using one pass but now you might argue that is the space o of n or space is o of one because i am using an answer and I have to return the vector itself. So for sure, it is valid. But so technically, you can say the space is O of 1. Technically, you can say the space is O of 1 because you have to return a vector. And for that, you have to make a new vector to return it. But if the interviewer still wants you, or maybe if the interviewer still asks you, can we do it in, in place? Then you might have to think that, okay, which means I cannot make this answer vector. I will have to use my nums itself. To populate the vector or basically to populate the answer final answer so now again it's totally up to the interviewer if he wants again technically the space is o of one but people might argue the space is o of n because they are using a new answer vector but usually what happens is if you are about like if you have to return an answer vector the space needed for that vector itself is not counted as the extra space so technically we have the spaces o of one we are good but still the interviewer might be interested to know if we can solve it in place which means you don't use answer vector at all now again for this you will think of start thinking again it's totally up to the you that how you think of this but it's very hard for in the interview environment in the stress environment to actually come up so for sure after we have to go in place which means we cannot use the answer vector which means that i have to use the exact same positive negative logic in the same nums vector while I am actually iterating on my nums itself. Hmm. Which means my positive initially would have been here. Negative initially would have been here. Okay. Now positive is great. Positive is great. And the same way positive is great. So I can simply go on and move my positive here. Because positive I remembered it moves plus 2. Now positive is here. Negative is here. Oh negative has a positive. Negative index has a positive element. And positive index has a negative element. Oh this is not true. So what option you have right now in front of your eyes? Simply swap them. Both are incorrect, right? I stopped here. I stopped here because both were incorrect. Earlier, when my positive was correct, even negative was incorrect. Still, I moved my positive. So as soon as any one is true, I will keep on moving. But as soon as both are incorrect, I will stop. And the best is, okay, this is positive, this is negative. It has to be negative. It has to be positive. Swap them. So the solution for it is simply swap them. So initially I'll initialize my positive with zero, negative with one. If it is okay, which means if, if my positive pointer is pointing to a positive value, okay, move on to the plus two index. If my negative pointer is pointing to a negative value, okay, again, move on to the plus two. But if both are false, then you know that the that the negative pointer is pointed to a positive value and the positive pointer is pointed to the negative value so simply swap both of them so after swapping what will happen is that okay this is a current state for you right now it is gone no worries it is it is a current state for you right now you can just simply swap them because you know that negative index has a positive value positive has a negative value simply swap them so now you have negative index negative value positive index positive value and voila simply keep on moving okay i'll just simply move both my positive and negative because both are true okay at one step i can move one also at the step i can move other but still i can move both of them okay negative will move two steps negative will be here positive will move two steps again it is true it is true again keep on moving keep on moving um negative will be here positive will be here again keep on moving and again it is completed so you can easily see in place we have solved it 
now your question is is it because you have to satisfy these three conditions these three conditions you have to satisfy and you can easily see that for sure for sure you will have always opposite sign you are always starting from the positive because you you because in the beginning you remember right your positive pointer was at zero negative pointer was at one so you always start from positive it is always alternative which means opposite sign always because you are actually having a jump of plus two but this thing order is preserved can we guarantee this because we are doing a swap now although you can say are you are you i'm swapping positive and negative how it will affect my order huh. maybe maybe not uh, because this can be a danger for that we have to figure out either we have to prove that it will always be ordered or figure out any case in which it becomes unordered so okay for proving it is very hard to prove something as it is correct so what i do is i try to find as many possible conditions as as much as possible such that it tries to invalidate that something cannot be ordered for example if i had minus one minus two minus three four five and six right then if expected answer would have been look like that okay positive elements are four five and six negative are minus one minus two minus three so i just put positive four minus one five minus two six minus three this is the actual expected answer for me but by my swapping thing what will happen see initially you will see positive as at at index zero negative at index one great but you will see that the that the negative which we have is actually correct negative is correct so negative will actually move two steps forward okay negative will move two step forward as i have mentioned if something is correct it will actually move on now my negative at this at, at this location positive at, at this location so you will see negative positive ah index is positive index is negative both are incorrect simply swap them so four will come here minus one will come here so how it will look like is four minus one and then it is positive now correct okay simply move on so your positive will move on two steps okay now positive will come here and same way negative will move on two steps negative will come here but 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 just stop right here you have seen that your positive is here negative is here right so for sure in this portion nothing will change but you can see your answer has become four minus two but your answer should have been a four minus one Allah, it is incorrect so this makes this makes it valid that you cannot optimize your answer you, you cannot optimize your answer above this operation which means your best time complexity is o of n one pass and best space complexity is o of one considering you are using extra space for the answer or if you consider answer as a new space then it's o of n but 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 with this in place operation you, you cannot do it but still if the interviewer gives you okay Aryan, one thing that still you can modify above from the above three conditions you can modify one thing you can modify one thing that you don't need the order to be preserved then i can actually use this swap operation which i have learned or derived so above if i don't want the order to order to be preserved but i want the other conditions okay positive negative positive negative positive negative if i want that and also the, the positive and order, negative should, should come alternative then this condition i can actually apply how i will do it simply as we have as we have derived it above that i will have initially my positive and negative as zero and one then i'll use my nums itself right if i'll just simply keep on moving until both of them are in bounds if if something is positive simply if something is positive simply move the positive by plus two if something is negative simply move my negative by plus two because it is a valid location if i am at negative i am at the valid location simply move on if both are incorrect bro simply swap it bro swap it bro swap it simple then you will simply swap it and that's how you can simply solve it in o of n time and space is a legit o of one right now no extra space for no new vectors no answers you are doing everything in place although this is never recommended but still interviewer can ask you this and that is the variations follow up for this problem and that's how you can simply solve it cool thanks for watching bye bye goodbye take care but no worries bye bye